friends, welcome back to Melon It Up with me, I'm Mel. Um, today we're making dinner, um, we're making sauté chicken with one of my favourite recipes. So this recipe actually originated from a Marley spoon uh, recipe, I think, and I just kind of meld it up to what I like because I'm not a huge fan of like super, well, something I'm not a huge fan of, a very pansy tongue, so I don't like super spicy hot food. Um, so I decrease curry, I put more peanut butter. This is my take on that recipe. And I'll put the ingredients in the description below for you. Uh, I've prepared everything for today. So you'll have seen at the start intro video, I was chopping everything up and I got everything ready. Uh, and we're pretty much ready to go. So by the time you have chopped everything up, you put your rice in the pot or microwave or however you cook your rice. I'm personally a microwave rice cooker. Um, by the time that's done, your food is pretty much ready and I would say this would take in total like half an hour to 40 minutes depending on how quickly you chop things so uh, it's pretty quick easy meal and we're, I'm gonna show you through it today so let's get started alrighty so here are our ingredients first off we have two teaspoons of chopped garlic or couple of cloves depending on how you get your garlic as well as two bulbs of shallots so one whole shallot together um, I halved each of those bulbs and then I thinly sliced it we have 15 grams of Malaysian curry powder so I've kept it out so I could show you how it comes I had to buy this on Amazon I think I couldn't find it in a store anywhere um, it was an online order for sure and I mean it's lasted me a couple of years now but this tastes legit um, so you don't want to be using no Keens curry or anything like that you want a Malaysian curry powder so 15 grams of that we have 40 grams of peanut butter you can do smooth you can do crunchy it's entirely up to you we have a couple of uh, bunches of coriander uh, and you want to save some of the leaves for garnish later on so take some leaves off and then you're chopping the entire thing, including the stems, up into small pieces. I have 400 grams of chicken here. So it was two tenderloins and a chicken breast. This is just what I had in the freezer, so I've got it out to use it. Uh, you can use just tenderloins, you can use breasts, you can use whatever you want. Um, and quantity, maybe make it once and you'll see how much sauce there is. And if you're a sauce lover or you like more meat in your food, um, do whatever suits your requirements. I have one carrot that's been thinly chopped. I have in here one quarter cup of water and two teaspoons of light soy sauce. Oh, I also want to add, sorry, there is also one teaspoon of sugar in here um, beneath the coriander because they'll be going in at the same time. So I've just added it to the same bowl. And then we have coconut milk, the 270 ml can of coconut milk and brown doesn't matter, whatever you want. That's pretty much all the ingredients here. Uh, we will put our rice on and start cooking this bad boy. So our oil is ready to go. You can use whatever oil you want. You can use a peanut oil or just a neutral oil, olive oil, doesn't really matter. Just a couple of teaspoons in there. We're going to add our shallots and our garlic. Now onions and garlic have come, like you can smell them, so pretty much cook and put fragrant. Um, they're becoming translucent as well and they'll cook longer, so it's fine. We're now going to add our carrot. So you just want to basically stir fry the carrots so that they cook a little bit. Um, they won't be completely soft and that was about about two minutes for cooking there. We're going to add in our curry powder, salt and pepper. So basically want to like uh, cook the curry powder off. It'll be very dry, don't be tempted to add more oil or anything like that, it's not needed. has become like super fragrant, super delicious smelling. Now we're going to add a little bit of coconut milk and the peanut butter. And then 
and we're going to add the rest of our coconut milk in here. Now we have our quarter cup of water and our soy sauce in here as well. Once you have all of your liquid in there, you want to let this come to a boil and then we're going to add our chicken. Okay, we're going to add our chicken. So the good thing about this sauce is it's actually like a legit sauce that you would get from a Thai restaurant, in my opinion. You buy a chicken skewers from like a Thai restaurant and they give you the skewers and then a side of uh, satay sauce. That's what this tastes like, so it's literally my favourite satay recipe and Matt's as well. Uh, so if you wanted to do skewers or something like that, you could just not put the chicken in at this stage. You put in your sugar and your coriander into that and then let it kind of cook off a little bit. Um, and then serve that on the side as a sauce instead of being all in one. But in this case, we're going to add our chicken to this now and just let it cook and bring it to a simmer. And this will cook for around five minutes or so. You're pretty much cooking this until the chicken is cooked and if you've never cooked chicken before and you don't know what to look for, you don't want the inside to be pink so it needs to be white all the way through. So the chicken is now ready or it's cooked so we're going to add our coriander stems and leaves as well as our one teaspoon of sugar in here and we're going to stir that through. If you don't like coriander you can leave it out. I feel it adds flavour but if you don't like it then it's going to ruin the whole dish so don't add it. anything at the end make sure you taste for seasoning and add things if you think it needs it okay so this is ready now um, I'm gonna pop it off to the side and I'm gonna make some pop it uh, and then we'll plate up and you can have a look at the final result satay chicken take away at home make it give it a go super delicious super easy like I said you don't even need to make it with chicken inside you can make it as a dipping sauce on the side or something it's an awesome satay sauce so give it a shot Thanks for watching, give the uh, video a, a like, a thumbs up if you like this video, if you'd like to see more, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye!